problem with chametz is that what we learn from chametz is to become great, you don't have to do any work. And that's the satan. The satan is that you don't have to do any work. No work. Just let it be. It's going to happen. There's no such thing. A person for him to grow spiritually, it takes a lot of work. And that is why matzah, which is the opposite, from the second that the water meets the flower, you cannot stop working it. It can never be left alone. He mixes it. They roll it. They make it into little pieces. They roll it. They make holes in it. They bring it and they put it into the oven. It's never left alone for a second. To teach us matzah is the opposite of chametz. Matzah is ruchnis. If you want to ruch, if you want ruchnis, if you want to grow, you can't take vacation. There's no vacation. You have to work and you have to work and you have to work and you have to continue working on yourself. A person who chills, right? Just like, hey, I don't have to do anything. Those are the kids, those are the people who become chametz. They talk and become chametz. They don't do anything with their life. They don't do any work. They get into all kinds of crazy trouble. So that's really the, 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 the essence difference between chametz and matzah is one of them you have to work all the time and one of them you don't have to work at all. And what's the difference between the two? What's the difference? Chametz, right? Chametz is ches mem tzadik. What's matzah? Mem tzadik hey. So the difference between chametz and matzah is the difference between a hay and a ches. What's the difference between a hay and a ches? Ches is closed. A little, a little, little space. A little teeny space, right? The difference between chametz and matzah is a little space. Sometimes, and I, I see this with kids and with adults, with everybody, you work, you work, and you work, and your mama stop working like a second before. A second before you reach, we, we, that's, that's the power of, of the, one of the things that this kid went through yesterday that I was talking to is that he talked at work, they worked, they worked in yeshiva, and then, and then just as he was getting there, some, somebody put him down, and he, and he stepped out. And, and I told him, if you wouldn't have stepped down and you would have just pushed a little bit more, your taka would have become a huge tamachacham and you wouldn't be involved in atheism and with all this other stuff. It's usually, the difference between, between chametz and matzah is a teeny little bit. There's a couple of seconds, there's a couple of minutes of work.